All right, what is going on? Welcome back to this Harold Johnson My Career. And before we start, if you are new, be sure to subscribe because we got this NBA content every single day except for Sundays. And that's for Madden, exclusively for Madden, even though I didn't upload Madden on Sunday, I didn't upload, period. But that's going to change. Here we have the 9 and 2 Thunder against the 7 and 1 Clippers in LA. And if you didn't know, in this Harold Johnson Creator Legend, we only play 29 games a season. So that's we face one team once every season. We face every team once, not one team once. We face every team once throughout all the season. I forget the playoffs. I'm going to have to go to episode one to remember that. But we have dynamic match of a Harold Johnson versus Kawhi. So that's going to be interesting as Kawhi's greening to start off. Now, let, let's get into this juicy, beautiful gameplay as Harold missed a smothered layup. Alright, 0-2. to I got... Guarding Kawhi is not easy. I can tell you that effing much. And him guarding me, I can't do anything. So I gotta rely on my team as... Oh, he got blocked! Patrick Beverly got blocked! Okay, we got... Oh, I gotta change the release on... I forgot to change his release. As... Got a nerd, he's going to the line. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I need to change the jump shot on Harold because it's just not right. As Steven Adams... He's getting a lift to go, giving us the two-point lead. As you can see, I am second in scoring for small forwards. Point one behind Kevin Durant. Kawhi Leonard is right behind me. 2.2 points. I'm the second best small forward in the league, they're saying. Uh, you, you know, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We got Patrick Beverly on Chris Paul. Oh, I, don't, I can't, I don't know what to say here. Oh, Paul George is going to drain that. That's too easy. That's Paul George. And Chris Paul's return to L.A. Um, Paul George facing his old team. I'm not sure. We haven't faced a Rockets yet. I don't think we faced a Rockets yet. See, Kawhi, he's just playing the clamps on me. I can't do much against him. This is insane. I don't want to face this team in the playoffs. If we have to face him in the playoffs, we're done for. I guess I'll back in. We're down by six. It, this looks like it's going to be a close game, but not for us. It's not looking, not looking good for us as I'm jumping for no reason. Lou will. Dude, this is... I don't want it to go to double digits. I'm pulling up. And I'm draining my first shot of the game. The first two points were free throws for me, so... Alright. Pulling up. First three of the game. First three. As you know, in these actual games, the non-simulated ones, I don't shoot very well from three. But you know what? Times times are changing. Times are a changing. We got TJ McConnell getting fouled. Okay. TJ McConnell. He just greened that. Oh my god, 2K. Dude, you're a bum ass game. You need to fix this crap now. How did he just green that? I'm fading and I'm getting the bucket to go. We got it to a four point game. It was a two point game. Never mind, make it six. Dude, I can't stop Kawhi. Alright, still a six point game. I'm trying to make the cushion just a little. Oh, I'm throwing it down! Get out of the paint! Kawhi and Paul George were in my... Okay, Kawhi wasn't there. Paul George was in my paint. What are you doing? And that is going to do it for me in this first half. It's a tied game. Well, they need to just bench me for their entire game, it seems like. We're tied. Now, nothing really eventful is happening so far in the second half. But Kawhi Leonard has me jumping like a damn bunny rabbit. But he somehow misses. Down by 4, 45 seconds left in this third quarter. I should have passed it to Dennis Schroeder, but I didn't because I'm a dummy dum dum. Uh, I need a screen, Steven, because that screen was good. That screen also did nothing, Steven. And I lost the ball. And for some reason, I have like 90 something speed. How can I not catch up to Paul George? Alright, Steven, dude. I When Kawhi gets switched off of me, Paul George just gets switched right on. I got lucky there. At the deal of Paul George and Kawhi, I Shy Gilligas! Alexander just threw it down. I, next time we play the Clippers, I'm putting myself at power forward because I cannot deal with Kawhi. He, Kawhi is so annoying in this game, but I'm throwing it down right after Shai Gilligan just threw it down. Unstoppable. I think that just tied the game up, too. So, clutch dunk, I guess. We're currently down by five. We are currently... Oh, I was about to say he's by seven, but Kawhi missed. I'm pulling up for three. That's easy. That's easy. Range extender on Hall of Fame two-point game. This second half has not been very entertaining, especially for me stat-wise as I'm actually draining a shot there, tying up the game once again. 
My teammates have not been passing it to me this whole game. It's actually very annoying, as I'm going to get my last shot of the game, giving us a little bit of hope, but it's a five-point game. And, yeah, I was correct. We lose by five. I wasn't expecting us to win, especially after the run the Clippers went on, because for some reason I just never got the ball, and Chris Paul played like buns. I let Kawhi drop 40. He didn't shoot the greatest. He, he shot above 50%, but... Paul George, 25. Lou Will, 16. Everyone else played like bums but those three. Uh, I didn't shoot well at all. 37 points low. Two steals, three blocks. Adams had a fantastic game. Shai Gilgis had a good game. So did Mr. I forget his name. Dennis Schroeder. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you were new. GG.